If you've ever ridden on a roller coaster, you've felt some of the sensations of being weightless. Sometimes during the ride, you are close to being weightless. You may feel as if you are almost floating. Inside a space capsule, an astronaut would float if he were not strapped down. Notice that one of his strap ends does float. The astronaut is weightless. What is weight? How can anything be weightless? We can understand weight and weightlessness if we understand how they are related to gravity. Gravity is a force that pulls down on everything. All the time. Because of the pull of gravity, objects are held down against the Earth. And because of the pull of gravity, everything on Earth has weight. To measure the pull of gravity, we put a scale between an object and the Earth. Gravity pulls this barbell down against the scale. The pointer measures the amount of pull. We call this the barbell's weight. But how can anything ever be weightless? To find out, we'll lift the barbell and the scale high into the air. Now we'll let them fall. Gravity pulls them down. They fall together. The barbell doesn't press against the scale because the scale is falling too. They both fall freely. Both are weightless. Every object in free fall is weightless until it reaches the ground. Once on the ground, gravity again pulls it in, has weight. So if something could fall forever without reaching the ground, it would always be weightless. Can anything fall without reaching the ground? Let's try the following imaginary experiment. We'll place a cannon on a very high mountaintop. Now, we'll shoot a cannonball out of the cannon. It moves forward, but gravity pulls it down, so it falls in a curved path. Let's try again. This time, we'll shoot the cannonball harder and faster. Notice that it again falls in a curved path, but because its speed was greater, it hit the Earth farther away. Now let's fire the cannonball still harder and faster. When the cannon fires, the force of the explosion moves the cannonball forward. As it moves forward, the force of gravity pulls it down toward the Earth. The action of these two forces results in a curved path. And the greater the cannonball's speed, the longer its curve will be. If the cannon could fire an object hard enough and fast enough, the curve of its fall would follow the curve of the Earth's surface. The cannonball falls toward the Earth, but the Earth curves away from it. And so it falls and falls without ever reaching the Earth. It becomes an orbiting satellite. Today, when an astronaut is launched into orbit, a rocket carries him into the upper regions of the Earth's atmosphere. At a predetermined height, 
the rocket is turned until, like the cannon, it is parallel to the Earth's surface. Then additional rockets fire the astronaut and his space capsule forward. Finally, the capsule is turned into its desired position. Now it is in orbit, a satellite falling around the Earth. The capsule's forward motion and the pull of the Earth's gravity cause it to fall in a curved path, just as the cannonball did. Because it is falling, it is weightless. The astronaut inside the capsule is falling at the same speed, and he too is weightless. Space travelers like this astronaut must live and work under weightless conditions, and weightlessness creates effects very different from those under which we normally live and move and work. To study the problems of moving, working, and living in space vehicles, research planes like this one are used. In such a plane, weightlessness can be produced for short periods of time. The pilot has a television receiver that enables him to see what is happening inside the plane. To create weightlessness without going into orbit, the pilot follows an up and down flight path, very much like the path of a roller coaster. The people inside this plane are weightless. They are actually falling. Gravity pulls them down, but the floor of the plane is moving down as fast as they are, so they appear to float. Experiments like these illustrate some of the problems that occur under the weightless conditions of space. This man is working under weightless conditions. Watch his pencil. Even eating and drinking can be difficult. Today we are studying and learning more about weight and weightlessness. We know that gravity pulls down everything on Earth. When gravity pulls objects down against the Earth or some other support, the objects have weight. Objects fall because gravity pulls them down. But a falling object is not pulled against anything, and so during its fall, it has no weight. A satellite orbiting the Earth is falling. A satellite and everything inside it is weightless. On a roller coaster ride, you are almost weightless. You feel somewhat the same as an astronaut does inside his space capsule. In an airplane, an up and down roller coaster flight path will produce short periods of weightlessness. In order to live and work in space, man must study, understand, and solve the problems weightlessness creates.